Well, it's pushing 12 years. And how much maintenance have you done? Uh, only what the the um, mice caused. The mice. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did rebuild the the gearbox once because it started the leaking. I put a, a rebuild kit in it. Actually, it wasn't the gearbox proper. It was that outer bearing right above the blade. Right. It started getting rough, and that's what was giving me a problem. This whole center section, this whole mid unit, this whole thing would shake yep. as I was going down the log, and I'd get underneath and I'd push that sucker and pull it and trying to get it to. Then I finally figured out it was those darn bushings. Then it worked great. So that's the only maintenance you've done in all these years? Yeah. How much did that cost you? Well, I what? To, to do that replacement. I don't know. The bearings and stuff, uh, I just bought the kit from you guys. I think it was $35, $40. And then wow. I took it apart and did all the work myself. And I also added a drain plug to the gearbox. Which we're, which we're doing which now, we do right? Now, standard. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and do you have any idea of, of how much you've cut with this thing? That's a really wild question, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see that stack of wood over there? <laughs> And the sack of wood over here yeah, behind Yeah, there, yeah, that's all your offcuts. And all those <laughs> and down the road there. Oh, and they're still way down there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then there, there's a bunch of the larger slabs, the bottom slabs, that I've actually, they've been cut through uh, probably at least, you know, at least once it's been cut through. And I see you've still got some more work to do here. Oh, yeah. A lot of these... Uh, I collect logs. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you have a sawmill. Well, I collect logs because I don't, you know, people come and ask for stuff. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't, but I don't have a ready market to sell a lot of lumber. So I don't make it a practice of buying timber. Right. My niche is mainly the custom sawing. Yeah. And they always bring it here? No. Sometimes you take the mill to them? Uh, when I first started, about 85-90% of it was away. Now it's just the opposite. In fact, it's more like 95% or higher here. I do go and bring logs, from, pick, them up, pick them up from the customer's place and bring them here to saw. <laughs> I love it. It saves, it saves me about 12 to 13 steps to go from here around, winch it up or down, and then come back to operator's position. Slip plate. Slip plate, okay. It goes on very fine, and it gives a nice, even coat. And that dries. And that dries. Okay. As soon as the solvent gets evaporated, mm -hmm. you can smell it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I can smell it. It'll let you know. <laughs> but and the advantage there is that the sawdust won't stick to it. No, uh-uh. Okay. No. But the thing is, try moving the, the left and right wheel. Much easy. Yeah, it is. And before I'd have to use the liquid uh, the uh, silicone um, a couple times a day. Mm -hmm. I'll do it two or three times a week. No. So it, it makes it a big difference. So again? This, is, it, it, this has been around a long time. This was the, the maple, big maple crotch. This was a silver maple crotch that I used for the demonstration that we had here several years back. Yeah, it's still there. Yep. Uh, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut a four inch. So I'm going to cut, well, I'm going to take a little more off of this, then I'm going to cut it down to about four inches and use it for a, a table. Mm -hmm. Put some legs on it. This is mainly cottonwood uh, and some pine. And what do they use cottonwood for? Well, a lot of the, the old timers would use it for wagon floors. After it dries out, it's very hard, but it needs to be kept dry. 
if it if it sits in water it's going to rot but if it if it dries nicely and is moisture can get away from it why well, it'll stay hard and it'll be hard now this guy wants to use this he wants to uh he's going to dry it and then surface it and he wants to panel the side of a uh the walls in, the, in a room in his house mm -hmm. it came from trees off his property so that's why he wanted to do that so i've cut these all at three quarters now that's different there there's some oak uh there's a couple three oak logs in here that's oak and this is oak here but this and this all this darker stuff is all walnut mm -hmm. so you cut this for him yes um it took me it had 13 logs. Oh yeah. It took me two trailer loads to get them. Wow. Nice. Nice looking wood. Yeah, it is.